Hi everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game, we'll need some paper, two sheets of paper, something to write with, and some playing cards. And the playing cards, we need all the playing cards except the face cards. So ace through ten for every one of the suits. And we need something else. Oh, we'll need a bear. Let's get started. Put these away for right now. They'll matter to us later. And we only want to have one sheet of paper right now. On this sheet of paper, let's draw a diagonal line, not close to the edge, but a little bit in, and draw it across the page like this. That looks good. And then from up here, start out here, maybe put some bumps, and then down like this. That's looking good, and across like that. And now we need something important. We're going to need this, maybe this, maybe this. And then from here, that looks good. A little line down here, and then an arm. You decide how many of these you want. Come down a little bit, maybe give a belly. And then down here, go ahead and put a good sized foot. And maybe put the other one over here. Oh, we need one more of these too. So maybe over here, we go ahead and put another one. You decide. Well, we might as well finish this off here. Great. Now, maybe we need one of these. You can darken it how you want to. It's something like that too. Now, on this long line, let's find a halfway point. Put a little line. And then halfway between here and here, another halfway and halfway and then down here about halfway between here and here halfway between here and here and here and here now we want to put some steps or scales so go ahead and put these on the back go. I'm thinking we need a little something down here, don't you? And you can add anything else you might want. Let's do the other one. Put this one aside. And let's make one more. This time let's do the diagonal this way. So I'm going to start about here and draw the diagonal all the way across like this, a good portion of the paper. And then over here Maybe I put some bigger spikes, maybe a little bit angle here, coming down. And then like before, let's not forget these. Maybe this one has a lot. That's good. And then when we come down here, we'll need to put an arm out. And maybe this one has some very, very sharp spikes. And then we come down at the belly again. And then down here, we put our feet. Maybe one there and another over here. Might as well put the claws on already. You decide how you want them. And then close out this end over here. And then go ahead and put some kind of eye here, right? That's looking good. Of course, a nose. And then as before, we look down this line, we find the halfway point, and then between these two points, we put a half, a half, and a half. And then between here and here, we put a half, and between those, a half, between these, a half. And now we make the spikes here, too. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and eight. Looking good. Let's put them both together now and see what we have. My friend over here might have to move aside a bit. That's looking good. What else can we do with these? Oh, we still need something here, huh? Let's go ahead and put the other arm down here too. Again with spikes. Have to have both the arms there. Now in between here, let's go ahead and put a line across and then you decide how you want this to look, but I'm putting this in in between. And of course, this is something that's making a lot of smoke in between. And down here, there might be some boiling pots. So put a circle, a couple other circles, and a boiling pot like this. And maybe another boiling pot over here, a couple circles. Like this, and here's the other boiling pot. Now what should we call this game? I know what to call it. Let's call it this. Start with a T over here. T E N O S A U R U S and over here let's make sure we can see everything here. Let's go ahead and call this on this side, we'll call it Rex. Tenosaurus Rex. Now let's play the game. We'll need markers. So I'm using a little these simple markers here. I'm going to put one on the tail right here. You could use a coin like a penny or a dime. And one on the, this tail over here. Each of the dinosaurs is trying to make tens using these playing cards. Every time a player makes a ten, the marker goes up. Every time, the marker goes up. There will be two players today. Sarah will be playing against Patty. And this is how the game works. We take the cards, make sure they're well shuffled. One person will be the dealer. And the cards will be laid out like this, one after another in a row, so that you can see all the numbers that are coming up. What each player is trying to do is find the tens. So there's a four and a six here. If Sarah calls ten and pulls the four and six cards, then Sarah gets to move her marker up one space. Let's try it out. Let's get some new cards to start the game. So cards are laid out until somebody sees a 10 and can call it. Aces are always going to be worth one. What would be a good card here to follow that would make a 10? Think about that. Not quite. And the 10 can be made by adding or subtracting. Let's see what happens. Not quite yet. Another. What do we see? Patty says 10. And Patty says 5 and 5 make 10. So these cards are going to go in the away pile. And Patty's going to move her token up 1. Once she gets to the top here, she's 1. Let's continue. We have an ace, which is worth one, and an eight. Can we make a ten yet? Is there a ten here? Sarah sees something here. Do you see it too? Sarah calls out ten. She sees the four and the six. The four and the six are removed, put in the discard pile. And Sarah gets to move up her token one. More cards coming out. Can we make 10 yet? Do you see anything yet? Patty says something. Patty says 10. What does Patty see? 
patisis. A two and a three make five, and another five make ten. Two plus three plus five make ten. So these go in the discard pile, and Patti gets to move up one more step. Let's continue. Can we make ten yet? Oh, Pat, Sarah says something. What does Sarah say? Sarah says ten. Do you see it too? Sarah says ace is worth one. Six and one make seven. And three more. Six and one and three make ten. So Sarah gets a ten. The cards are discarded. And Sarah moves up one more step. More cards out. Ten. Patti just sees the ten and takes the ten, discards it, and moves up. If the ten card shows up, you can just call out ten. New cards. Any ten yet? Any ten yet? Sarah says ten. Here's where something special happens. This is with subtraction. So Sarah says nine plus eight is seventeen. 17 minus 7 makes 10. She made a 10 using subtraction. She gets to move a token up. More cards. Another 7. An ace. Another 7. And a 4. Sarah says 10 again. Do you see why? Sarah sees that 7 and 4 make 11, and 11 minus 1 makes 10. So she moves up one more. Patti and Sarah will continue setting out cards looking for those 10s using addition or subtraction. Every time they find a 10, they get to move one more step up to the top. Whoever reaches the topmost tier first will be the winner. This is the game Tenosaurus Rex. And for this game, you'll need some paper, maybe some dinos too. You need something to write with. Some way to mark your way up. Could be coins or could be markers to make your way up to the top. A set of cards. Remember, no face cards, ace through 10. And you'll need a partner to play with, right? And something else. Oh, you'll need a bear. Do enjoy this game.